There are all sorts of mixed-use projects, but the type of mixed-use projects that Chongbang does is what we call retail-anchored mixed-use project. And that is, you know, uh, uh, the retail component is the key component. It is multifunctional uh, by nature. It caters uh, to uh, the needs of, of a variety of people a different sector of the community. Apart from retail, uh, we have office, uh, we have residential, uh, and sometimes we have a hotel as well. So the challenge is, uh, maybe I start with the basics, money. <laughs> retail property by nature is a long-term investment. Yeah, after the project is built, yeah, it takes time uh, to build up the client base. That means that we need long-term capital, yeah. Uh, many of the uh, retail projects in China encounter problems because many of them are using short-term capital for long-term investment. So the first lesson we learn is that to do that type of project, the retail anchor mixes project, first of all, we need long-term capital, yeah. And that's why we structure uh, our shareholding in such a way that uh, it consists of long-term uh, you know, investors. So that's you know, the first lesson, yeah. money. And then uh, the planning and design. Yeah. And um, uh, we plan and design our projects from inside out. This mixed-use project is catered for different sector of community, uh, and uh, and sometimes uh, you know a certain sector or certain user uh, actually uh, may be in conflict with each other. For example, uh, a five-star office sometimes does not go very well. Uh, with the supermarket. If we don't get this right, sometimes uh, we create you know, a conflict. My rule of thumb is that we start with one single structure, say a simple nine meter grid. Of course, we may need to deviate from this basic structure, but that has to be done as an exception to the rule. And whenever we change and deviate from the basic structure, we have to have very good reason for it. So what Chung Bang does is that uh, we try to make complicated as simple as possible. 